What do you think of the donut? So it didn't sleep quite as well at this Walmart as we have in some other ones because it was just so busy. There were people showing up in the middle of the night, driving around, you know, just circling looking for a place to park. Because <laughs> if you came in the, the night, at this one at least, there wasn't a whole lot of parking in this back parking area where everybody parks. But it wasn't bad. Um, temperature was good. It was about 10 degrees warmer here than where we were boondocking. So it was actually, I slept better than the last place we were at, to be honest. I don't think Marissa did quite as well, but she's still not camera ready. That's what she's told me. She's always camera ready. She just thinks she's not. You're about to go and be at four states at the same time. Have you ever been to Utah? Ever been to New Mexico or Arizona? Yeah, <laughs> how cool. Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. Hensley, ready? Pretty cool. Yeah, it's worth a stop. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it only takes. I mean, don't few... drive a couple of hours to get here, but we were we were about 45 minutes away. Yeah, I thought it was it was pretty uh, fun getting to be in four states at the same time, and like everything you do, you could be like, I did that across four states. Like me and Hensley, we ran across four states today. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could have parked our RV and we could have just yeah. camped in four states. <laughs> And I had never been to Utah or New Mexico, I don't think, so that was pretty cool. Had you been to all those states before? I think so, yeah. Those four. Nathan's already been there and done that. Yeah, pretty boring day for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've been here before, though. We did it the legit way. Oh, well, we eventually are going to do it the legit way. So when we drove to the Four Corners National Monument, I kind of noticed the car was veering to the right, which it was not doing before. So, so we got the car back at Walmart, <laughs> which we're still parked at Walmart, so it's not that bad. I just had to walk it back and forth instead of like having somebody drop me off and all that mess you'd normally have to do with a house. But it's still a pain. We're just kind of hanging out, eating lunch. We're hoping to get out of here and head to our next spot. <sighs> we got the tires swapped again. Hopefully we're gonna get out of here, get to San Marcos State Park. So there's pretty much nobody here, <laughs> which it looks nice. Um, it's just it's just off the beaten path. Uh, we passed three or four RV parks on the way here that looked like they had people in them, and um, I don't know, I just thought we'd give this a shot. I mean, you're boondocking for 18 bucks. As long as the weather's moderate, which it is, and the sites are shaded, I mean, we know we'll come out saving money doing that. I'm, I really like free over 18 bucks, but they're, at least in all states, we couldn't find anything free around here to try out. A lot of state parks you go into, they have a dump station and a water spigot when you first come in. This one did not. Uh, I'm just gonna drive over, see if I can find another spigot. So according to the map, <laughs> there's drinkable water around here and there's dump around here, which I found the drinkable water. I'm gonna check the water pressure on this and see if it's any better than the other one. Mm. Now I'm trying to see if I can find a dump. This is the site we were thinking about taking right here. Okay, found the dump station at least. Well, 
So the worst part of this, that drive I just took, I've got to take it again to get out of here because it's a one way and I just don't see me, unless I want to back up about 300 feet out of my sight, which I'm not going to do through the woods, um, I'm going to have to drive that again. So it's not going fast, but it's going, might be here till dark, but uh, hopefully we'll have some water. So the RV's just over here still filling on that spigot. I went and told Marissa just to come on over and hang out at the RV while we wait on it. But it is at least moving. So we've seen a tent and one other RV, <laughs> and that's it. This place is dead. <laughs> There's two different campgrounds. There's a main campground, a west campground. I don't know how many the west has. The main one that we're at has 23 sites. There'd be three out of 23 gone. It, it is during the week though, so stuff is not nearly as busy. Hey, ah! <laughs> no, don't turn it off. It's going slow enough as it is. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm impressed you know how to do that, but. I mean, we've spent over three hours today, like <laughs> taking the car back to get the tires checked on and coming up here and, you know, <laughs> on a side road I didn't really know that was there and then the stuff with this not finding the sewer and dealing with the water and we haven't even we still haven't even gotten our site and set up yet so I mean it's gonna be a good four plus hours you know for us to get set up yeah some days you're climbing a mountain and seeing really cool stuff and then other days are just traveling and getting set back up and maintenance and i mean that's just part of having a house on wheels i mean it takes you to some really cool stuff and places but there are those days where you just have to move around and take care of business we're taking care of a lot of business today <laughs> piddly business that i wish we didn't have to take care yeah. of but uh and, and part of it's our travel style i mean we know that mm -hmm. uh, we move around a week or every week or less um that really increases the stuff we got to do. Don't tickle daddy. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> and I mean, we debated how to do this channel when we started it. We could just show the good stuff. We could show highlights and bright sunny skies and rainbows and sunsets. And, and we show that stuff. But, you know, there's days where I'm, I just got my hands on the sewer or we're looking for water. Or, and we want to have that mix. We want it to be real. And, and this is just real. Um, some days are exciting and some days just aren't. All right. No, yeah. Tank is finally full. <laughs> uh, while we're in this spot, there's like nobody here. So we're gonna go ahead and wash some dishes. I'm gonna take a shower. Cause it's pretty much like having water hookup. And then we're gonna move to our actual side. Ansley, you're in my shot. Daddy Pitts. Ansley, you're in my shot. Finally got on our campsite. <laughs> there's a lot of days that are longer than we think they'll be. I don't know, with a house there's just a lot more consistency. And with an RV, there's just a lot of things that can happen between point A and point B. So this is our site. How bad is it? If you can hear it, that's our generator going. We've really got to get solar. But uh, these are really roomy. It's got your standard, uh, you know, state park picnic table. <laughs> and, fire pit yeah we move around a lot yeah that makes things a little more complicated a little more stressful at times we get to see a lot of stuff in a short amount of time we're gonna call it a night that's our journey for today we'll see what tomorrow has in store for us